larger than life with Dan Tortora stage with Gerardo Sandoval from Mexico. He traveled all the way up from Mexico to see us. The wall is not built yet, so we got him here. Very happy. Gerardo Sandoval with us today, and Gerardo is a Marvel illustrator who will be working on Venom Space Night, has worked on Age of Apocalypse, the new Avengers, some Secret Wars and different things coming up soon. One of the hottest artists, in my opinion, right now for Marvel. Very unique style. Gerardo, how are you doing today? Uh, thank you very much. Gerardo. Beautiful words. Thank you very much. It's a very nice place. People, it's very nice right here, and I like the weather. <laughs> so you like the weather because it's very hot in Mexico right now, isn't it? Yes, yeah, this is very, very strange. The weather in Mexico, I'm very hot right now. So I want to go to Age of Apocalypse. We just had a fan come up and say that that was his favorite. He loved that comic, loved your work. What can you say about Age of Apocalypse? Some of the things that you enjoyed doing, maybe a character you enjoyed drawing there. Uh, first of all, uh, the idea to make something like in the 90s was great for me. A lot of characters that I love, uh, especially Magneto. I love the way Magneto looks like. It's something that I really enjoy. The problem that I have is that the deadline was very short. I wanted to to finish the five books, but it was not possible. But it's a really lovely, lovely book. I, I really like it. When you look back on Age of Apocalypse, and, and you're, well, I kind of want to go to your style in general, not just Age of Apocalypse. You can see your style in everything that you do. There's a different way that you draw and create characters. Where did you get some of your inspiration from? Very good question. In, in making Go, we started to see the animation from, from Japan, the anime and the manga uh, in the 70s. So I, I grew up watching a lot of cartoon, a lot of uh, animation, like the anime, you know, and my inspiration is the, the Japanese style. That's the way I started to, to work. Once I started to work as a professional, my biggest influence is Doug McFarland, uh, he's creating some kind of strange art, you know, and the mix uh, about Todd McFarland and, and the animation of Japan is my, my goal to create my, my own style. What did you like about Todd McFarlane? What, what is it about his work that really spoke to you that you like? When I started to see the, uh, these Spider-Man books he did, everything he created was different. You know, the, the way he designed the page, the way he created the web in Spider-Man, he was broken all the panels, created the characters coming up from the page. Every single line that he created for me was different. Yeah. For some people, he's not the greatest artist. I understand why people say that. Maybe he's great creating a Spider-Man, but his Peter Parker, the human faces are not so cool. But you, I always look uh, his style like something different, you know? Every, every single page he created for me was very special because it was something that I've never seen before. That's what I really like it. So when you had this opportunity, I want to go to the beginning with Marvel. How did they contact you? How did you start drawing for Marvel? Okay, in Mexico there's a, a con that is called Festo. I was part of this con um, three or four years ago, and Eddie Barganza from DC Comics came here, uh, came to Mexico to review portfolios. I was there, I showed my portfolios, and DC Comics was checking my work possibility to work with them, you know, but uh, they were moving so slow, I was trying to, to find a way to start working for DC Comics, you know, so I posted all my portfolios in my Facebook and my Twitter, then Cindy Sebolsky, the in those days he was a scouter for Marvel Comics, he saw my work, got in touch with me, and he asked me for my, my samples, I did everything he asked, he sent me some scripts, I did the samples, and Marvel comes hired me. When you got that notice from Marvel that you were going to be hired, that you were going to get an opportunity, once again, here on stage, Larger Than Life with Dan Tortora, here with Gerardo Sandoval, Marvel illustrator from Mexico. When Marvel contacted you and said, we want you, 
bring me into that moment. What was going through your mind? What, what type of feelings you were having when Marvel said, you're the guy to write, to do this for us? Oh, well, I have 23 years working as a professional for many companies in Mexico and in other countries. For me to work for Marvel Comics or DC Comics was always my huge dream, you know? To be part of Marvel Comics was always a dream. Space Night has already begun. The story is starting to be told, but you're going to come in and you're going to continue to draw and create Venom in Venom Space Night. What can you say about that opportunity? Because we haven't seen it yet. You know, it's going to be coming out soon. So we're sitting here with you before that hits the shelves. What are you excited about with Venom? Well, Venom is one of my favorite characters. Starting that McFarland was the first one that did his version. Um, for me, it means a lot because I always love uh, the bad guys. You know, it, it's it's something very important for me. What I am trying to bring with Venom in my hands is to make something like we meet in the nineties. I, I really want to see over this Venom that is big. Muscles, uh, these furious, you know. Yeah, I, I want to create something that I remember it was. Uh, sometimes the venom change it in a way that I don't like it too much. Yeah, a very regular character, not the monster, not the big powerful monster. And I am trying to create with these new pages that you will see very soon. Uh, something that I remember it's supposed to be Venom. So I am trying to bring the Venom that I remember it was. Now I think it's interesting what not even a year makes. You and I met at New York Comic Con 2015 and you and I were talking about how you really want to draw Spider-Man, have an opportunity with Spider-Man. Sure. And after we met, a few months go by, you get this opportunity with Venom. Venom connected to Spider-Man, so this, this could be a door, could be an opportunity. Well, if this is the door, I am going to be sure to make it good, you know, because I understand very good Spider-Man character, too. It's, it's something that, who, who doesn't love Spider-Man, you know? Right. Everybody loves Spider-Man, so I really know how to how to put my line in, in the Spider-Man version and in the Venom version, so I will do everything is the best for the characters. What I am trying to do right now is to enjoy every single page. I want to feel myself comfortable and happy doing these roles. But at the same time, I want to make something different. I want to, if I had the chance to uh, to make something with Spider-Man, I would do the same thing that I am doing with Venom. To put my line, to put my, my, my style, but having respect for the character, because I love this character. Yeah, and, and that's something that we spoke about is that sometimes when somebody takes over a character to illustrate, they don't always maybe look into all the detail or respect the character, the history of the character. And you spoke about bringing Venom back, big muscles, strong to accentuate that. It's you know on your business card you have a picture of what that's going to look like. So what can you say to that? I mean, when you're working and you're an illustrator that comes on to a book after somebody's already created something and drawn something do you ever talk with another illustrator and say you know where did you get this from are you in interacting with people that are drawing the same character to say okay well let's be on the same page or do you go in and just create by yourself I try to create by myself uh, I don't have many contact with many artists that I, I really appreciate to have you know, my, my, my favorite artist uh, in this case try to watch, to observe what these artists they, they did, you know, and I'm trying to take the best thing that I think it is and put my part on it. What I'm trying to do in this case of Venom is to bring what I remember in, it was, because we have, we are talking about a new generation, yeah. new, new kids. 
looks like the 90s, but adjusted for this new gener generation, you know? It's not easy, but my goal is to bring something really nice. Would you like to see Venom, now that Spider-Man is part of the Marvel Universe on the screen in Civil War for Captain America, would you like to see Venom find his way back into the theaters, back in a movie? Oh, well, just imagine if Venom can be created as the way it should be, you know? It could be something in CGI, not a very thin guy with a black disguise, you know? <laughs> I have seen better cosplayers doing a Venom than this crap we saw in the movie. Yeah. I think if Venom had the chance to be part of the new universe, in the movies, it should be something better, because Venom is a, a character that can be something better. You can have a very, really nice picture with this character if you can do it in the way it should be, because Venom is something very strong, something very powerful, and it can be part of the Spider-Man movie in a very perfect way. But you need to take care of the character because uh, it's, it's very important that you make the Venom as the Venom is. And lastly here for Gerardo Sandoval, Marvel illustrator from Mexico. He is straight across. You can hang out with him today, take a picture, get some of your prints that you brought, also have commissions done. Before I let you go, last thing here, what are you excited about for the future? You've done a lot of great things. Your style is known. Your style is different. And what you know, when I see a comic book that's a Sandoval comic book, I know what it looks like. As you move forward, what are you excited to work on? What is to come, either that you're doing or maybe something that you want to do? Good question. <laughs> okay. Well, I always try to be in the present. Of course, I have my plans. I, 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 I have my, my idea, you, you know? Yeah. Right now, I have the opportunity to, to bring Venom. And I am very excited about the present. I love someday have the chance to do something with Spider-Man, of course. It's something that, for me, will be the biggest goal to be part of Marvel Comics, doing something with Spider-Man. Right now, the idea of being working in Venom is something that really brings me a lot of satisfaction, you know? Yeah. In my nearest future, I see to bring maybe the best Venom pages that I can create. I can give you the, uh, this information for me, in my personal opinion, the pages that I am working with Venom right now, for me, are the best pages I ever done. It's something that I am really happy with. And it's very strange for me to say that because most of the time I don't like my work. I, I make pages that I really don't like. I make covers when I saw it in, in printed. Yeah. I don't like the final result because I always try to improve myself. And in this case, the pages that I am doing with Venom, it's something that I really like because it's the first time that I am doing with Marvel Comics everything I want. You know, it's, for me, it's fantastic. Well, absolutely amazing. I don't think that there could be a better person doing Venom right now. I think with the villain side, with that, you know, when you, you can't help but love the villain, I think you're going to bring that to the world with your illustration that Venom is a loved character, but even though he has his evil moments and he can kind of go off and do whatever he wants, I think that the way that you're going to create him is going to be very exciting. We're looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Gerardo Sandoval here with us, Q&A. Thank you. Coming all the way from Mexico. We thank him for for being here today. He is directly across from the stage where you walked in. Get a print done, get a commission by Gerardo Sandoval, get his autograph, just come and meet the guy. Absolutely amazing person. Can't thank you enough for being here today. Thank you very much. And I'll thank talk you to very you very much, soon. people. And